Boom. We are live. There we are. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Happy Thursday. Um, I am one of the boxes today <laughs> alongside my, uh, my, my denim clad friends over here. <laughs> so uh, as you can see, hello, everyone. I got which charge my but Zach over here. Yeah. Here. It's like the Brady Bunch. Like the Brady Bunch. <laughs> yeah. Or well, just like the denim musketeers. I don't know. How are you doing? I'm, uh, you know, I'm getting through. Can't lie, these allergies were, we just hit hurricanes okay. here. So. <laughs> allergies are getting me, but. Exactly. Exactly. You never say like, oh, I'm good. It's always like, oh, my allergies or <laughs> something. <laughs> I'm an allergy guy. What can I say? <laughs> All right, yeah, how are you doing? I'm peachy. It's uh, nice and hot and fire season here in Southern California. Oh. So, you know. Well, have there been fires this week? I mean, anything going on? Yeah, uh, there, there's been a few um, kind of up north of us. So, you know, just hopefully they can get those under control and it's not going to be an issue for yeah. anyone. But yeah. Uh, yeah, other than that, it's a beautiful day here. So no complaints. Yeah, well, that's good. How's um, Chicago? Yeah. Uh, it's good. As you can see, I'm sort of back in the office now. I'm sort of trying to, you know, obviously for everybody watching, you know, of course, we're in the midst of this, so, so the, the COVID pandemic. Um, things are starting to ease up. The city's opening up here and um, sort of trying to kind of go back to the office, but being mindful of it's too crowded. Uh, you know, just trying to be safe in that sense. Right. Um, so, but I'm here now streaming and it's it's good to be back. You know, obviously got all the whiskey here to just, I don't know, think about. I'm not really drinking on the job, but I guess actually, I guess today we are. So. <laughs> Um, quick hello to, to everybody in the chat showing up right now. Daniel Duggar, hi, good to see you. Thanks for joining. Joseph Horton says aloha, guys and gals. Hi, Joseph. Uh, hey, Joseph. <laughs> Rob Gilmore, evening all. Um, or I think early afternoon for you, Jenna, out in LA. Yep. Uh, KB Barden's in the house. KB, good to see you as well. And Martin is hi from Scotland. Hello, Martin. Uh, good I'm evening to you. Scotland. Um, so just as we were remarking earlier, when we all sort of showed up in preparation, we were all wearing <laughs> our denim <laughs> in, uh, in celebration of dads. You know, this is <laughs> the title of the uh, our stream today. Where we're doing our Father's Day gift guide, which is something, you know, Father's Day is, it, it, it's, uh, I guess we're fortunate we all have our fathers around still. And um, it's a special day for, for a lot of us. It's, it's really big in the, in the whiskey industry, I just simply because a lot of people like to gift bottles of whiskey to their dads for Father's Day. Um, and we've just had so many members coming to us. What, I mean, what, what do you guys think for the last week or so has been kind of crazy, right? Wouldn't you say yeah. like? Yeah, and I think a lot of people first get their first sip of whiskey from their dads. Um, it wasn't, I didn't have that. Mine was from my husband who is a dad, but uh, yeah. right. I, uh, <laughs> you know, um, but I think a lot of people kind of get their first intro into this amazing world of whiskey, you know, from their dad. So, yeah. 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 So we had you know, a lot, a lot of people have been asking, excuse me, or a lot of members have been calling up and uh, asking specifically, Hey, you know, what, what's really the ideal gift for my dad? My dad likes this. What would you recommend? And, you know, we're usually, we take those calls all day long to help members choose whiskeys based on certain palate, you know, preferences. And we just thought, hey, look, we have, we've rolled out, as you, as you know, we've been talking about it. Obviously, we've been sending emails and, uh, as well, but we, we rolled out sort of just special Father's Day gift specials featuring different bottles and our tasting kit. And we thought, you know, what the hell, let's just, let's open the bottles, let's taste them, have some fun, kind of offer some opinions of the whiskeys. Uh, some of us are just jumping in right now as we speak, um, and I think I think we'll just go into it. So, you know, what do we what do we have? So, what are the options we we have for Father's Day kind of this year? We have three this year, um, and three pretty I would say pretty diverse, uh, pretty diverse selection. Um, and so the first one, and they're they're kind of broken down into flavor profiles, um, and then in, into price categories. So the first one is a ten year space side, um, twelve point three six, called Easy Drinking and Moorish. So there's that one, um, and then I figure we could kind of get into them as we taste along. Um, and then we have a peat selection for all of the you know peat heads out there, uh, ninety three point one three zero Grill Masters Dram. And then we have 
a 16 year space side called Sweet Taste of Victory. And this is cask 44.123. So those are the three that we're gonna taste today and talk about and answer any questions about, and I'm ready. Yeah, and I mean, just to, to clarify for everybody before we go into it, we're gonna try to make this as less of an infomercial as possible. I mean, obviously three of us are all on the team. We work for the company. Yes, we'd love for you guys to all buy, you know, our, our whiskey for your dads and Father's Day, of course. Um, but really, we're going to kind of just go through this and offer our opinions on each one, some feedback. Mm -hmm. uh, just a special, you know, something to keep in mind, all of the bottles we're tasting today are actually offered exclusively with a one-year membership to the Scotch Mall Whiskey Society. So in addition to just giving dad a bottle of whiskey, you do include that membership as well, which includes obviously loads of benefits, including I think, you know, the, the quarterly magazine that a lot of members tend to like. It's just a way to sort of just stay, stay on top of industry trends and really to expand your knowledge about Scotch whiskey, uh, in addition to obviously having some good whiskey to drink at home. So all, all of these are bundled with a membership. And I mean, the, 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 you save you, at a special price and you save about $50, I think, yeah. if you were to order separately. Um, Zach, I know you have the, the Christmas box looking thing, <laughs> not for Christmas, but, um, and as Zach is showing too, th thank you, Zach. Th this is, we also have, in addition to the bottles, we have our, our tasting kit, which we'll get into in a little bit too. And the tasting kit gives you a chance to actually have three sample bottles of different styles to explore. But uh, yeah, so that's like, that's the, that's the sales push, if, if, if there ever is one, but we're pretty chill over here. <laughs> uh, I'll find a drink. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. All right. Joe says, how old was the 93130? I think we'll, we'll get to that shortly, but that's a young gun. If I, if I, Jenna's got all the models here. It's, a, it's an eight year. It's an eight year? Yep. I'm looking so, forward to that one. Yeah, I am too. So, all right. All right. Where are we going for this? Is 12. We're, point yeah, we're going to start with 12.36, which is a 10 year space side. It is, there were 215 bottles of this, and it is in a first fill X bourbon barrel at 58.7%. And this is in our spicy and dry flavor profile, which I've been really kind of getting into lately. That's uh, one that I, I wasn't kind of into as much before, but uh, that's been a kind of fun one to keep tasting, you know, more whiskeys from. And I've been really, really happy with them. So I'm excited to taste this. I guess I can show you the bottle. Right, let's do this. Right. You can see it. And what are the what were the small tasting notes on the bottle? If you don't so know. this one says, imagine a banquet of pineapple, melon, apricot, Danish, dried papaya, courgette, flower tempura, and chilled white wine. It's that tasty. Hmm. Yeah, I mean this is it's funny, easy drinking and more-ish. It is very light and fruity on the nose. Yeah, but it, it smells so classic. Like it's just honey like a, on it. Yeah, that's a good. I'm guessing that Moorish is going to mean that we're going to have this easy drinking up front and then there's going to be more. <laughs> I, 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 I suspect <laughs> there, there's more. But you're right. I agree, Jenna, with you. Like on the nose, it's like it, it is classic. Yeah, it's like classic Speyside. Yeah, it really is. Wow. And Joseph, to answer your question, um, yes, these are available with purchase of new membership. So if you, um, these are part of our new member bundles, um, which can all be found on the website too. Oh man, man, but there's so, there is, but there's you're right, some more Like on the net. when you go in, it like really draws you in. There's like a little bit of a spice on the back end. Like I like. Now I can all I can smell is that like it's like honeysuckle and pears <laughs> and like light yeah I can get that light spice kind of on on that back end too. I'll say it's yeah. not too big though like I, I'm ex I would expect more baking spices or drier herbs up front from the spicy and dry profile but yeah it's in the spicy the, the spicy and dry profile ten sometimes we get like a lot of those really raw casks yeah. like really intense. Yeah really 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 dry this is sort of on the on the cusp like it's it's really approachable and has sort of a sweeter overtone uh oh west jolly says cheers all was just on the site today looking to add to my 39 bottles 40 seems like a better number seven are currently open 
and several finished. Wes, you got a lot. You got a long way to go to, to mm -hmm. tackle that. That's, that's impressive, though. I appreciate that. Um, Man, it leaves all of those sweet, fruity notes behind and, and comes in hot. Some spice. It does come in hot. Mm. I still get a little bit of that pear carrying over, I'll say. Yep. Almost like a, a pear, um, like tart or something. Yeah. But it's not very, it's not sweet. There's no honey mm -hmm. left. It's, it's definitely more. Ooh. Yeah, this is definitely like a. It has like baked qualities to it. There's like a mm -hmm. baked, you know, like pastry like mm -hmm. element to this. Mm. I think this is, um, it does have that classic, like I, John, you said it the first time, and it, like it has a classical profile of just like vanilla, like of American oak, mm -hmm. fruit, orchard fruit, a bit of honey, like vanilla cream, yeah. a bit of creme brulee. Like that classic profile, but when you get into it, it's a bit more like a wood spice. Yeah. There is like a raw intensity, which I like. Yeah, that's just like a, a really beautiful, powerful, classic space side. Yeah. Ooh, I'm about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about I'm about this one too. Ten years old, right? So it's um mm -hmm. We're kind of, I don't want to say younger end, sort of like of an average age these days, I think, for, for a single cast. Was it 12? Is it 12 or 10? It's, it's 10 years. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this is First Fill X Bourbon Barrel, meaning this hasn't been deconstructed and rebuilt into a hogshead. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a the little bit smaller, um, mm -hmm. you know, size than, than a hoggy would be. So, yeah, that's... Oh wow, that's tasty! <laughs> yeah, with this, you know, with a smaller cast size, you get greater concentration of wood right. and spirit, and so technically, like over ten years, probably more influence. Yeah, um, but yeah, I am. I'm, I'm. I'm big on that. I like it because it does have. It's very classical in front, but then there's yep. more to offer, and a unique personality kind of when you go further in. I had a little bit of wire though. Honestly. I just added a little bit. Let me do that. Yeah, it's, it's very bold whiskey. It's a very mm -hmm. dense and bold, just really, that's gorgeous. All right, water. I'll put up the, um, drop there again to show, yeah. So this is cast 1236, easy drinking and Moorish. And uh, it's our, really our introductory membership bottle bundle you know, for, for Father's Day. I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. I think the water brought forth more of the orchard fruits, maybe a mm -hmm. little bit of like stone fruit, a tiny bit, not too sweet or tart, but. Yeah, it mellows it out a little bit, mm -hmm. um, kind of that intensity. But uh, yeah, that I like that neat. I like that just as is. Yeah. <laughs> That's really good. Hmm. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to like put this one in the back so I don't see it, and you know, <laughs> go to grab that. That's gonna have to go in the back. <laughs> it's like a nice summer weekend afternoon, yeah. you know, or maybe like a dessert. Like a, I mean, the summer is definitely kind of calling to me on this one. You know, on a lighter, a little lighter style. So for dads who we say dads because obviously they're, it's handbag for Father's Day, but really anybody can enjoy this. You know, just yes. sort of clarify it, and uh, you don't have to. Get to just the dad um but, but I I, think, yeah go ahead no i was gonna say i think you know if dad is is a fan of those kind of classic space side whiskeys this is just like a like a not it's just like like a more intensely flavor packed version of that so i think yeah. if you know you're into those kind of classics from space side this is a, a great segue into single cast mm -hmm. because you're still getting all of those classic space side flavors and profiles just in single cast form so you can really mm -hmm. dial it into however you know that, you like that, it so that hits it on the nose i was going to say it's that classical space side but it's like it's introducing you into the higher abv it's getting that raw cask strength and influence onto their palate so yeah that's a, that's a really good call out yeah 
I'm about it. I'm about it. All right. So shall we move on? And that, just to clarify, that is the $150 bundle that includes the, the year membership. Correct. So that bottle and the, and the membership is $150. Yeah, that's a, that's stellar. Woo. All right. Number two. What is number two? That's yeah, number two. Are we going to the Pete side? Yeah, let's do it. I think let's do it. Our, oh, you don't have to twist my arm. I'm happy to to go down this road. <laughs> so I think it's on that road, Jenna. All right, all right. Uh, so the second one is ninety three point one three zero Grill Masters Dram. This is an eight year um, from Campbelltown in a first fill ex bourbon barrel again. So at sixty point eight percent ABV. There it is. So Campbelltown is, is really hot right now. I think for most of our members, you know. And, been from the soy 93 they haven't been lasting that long to be quite frank and i think oh I, i'm just I'm, so, I'm sorry i'm watching your reactions you simultaneously had some sort of reaction man that's that that it's i'm telling you that aroma is real like it's not even peat like you're not getting smacked in the face with iodine this is like i just opened up the the smoker and the char is just oh well, it's funny because I was just saying, like, you know, Campbelltown's really popular these days. And I was just offered my opinion that I'm not really entirely sure why. And in that moment, you you both went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess sometimes you don't have to explain things. You can just. Like, yeah, it's like barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> it. I don't know. I still get on the nose on this. I still kind of get that, that, like, beautiful, classic coastal. Yes. It's like when we, we camp, we try, like when we beach camp and we're like grilling out on the grill yeah. on the beach, like this uh, is like the perfect whiskey for that is this is like beach camping whiskey. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of the coastal seafood influence that I'm getting lobster. Oh, but it's all blended into that barbecue. <laughs> yeah, and this is in, in the lightly peated flavor mm. profile. So it's not, this is not an intense, you know, like you said, kind of punch to the face of, yeah those big, you know, peat, you know, characteristics. It's a, uh, it's just really soft. Yeah. I really like the, the combination, the lightly peated style with like the first filled bourbon barrels. Cause you still have a little bit of that bourbon residue left over from the, from the cask. You know, it's that bright vanilla and sort of caramel notes combined with this really coastal, you know, and salinity. Uh, with a little salt and sea breeze and, and, and you know, salt water, which I think is just phenomenal. Mm. I definitely cheated and tasted this already. Yeah, I'm trying to like pick out what that is on the nose. I think Ben, before Ben even tasted it, he just spoke and he was literally stealing the words out of my mouth. The bourbon barrel influence on here yeah. ended with that coastal influence. I mean, that is just, oh. And this one is this is really really phenomenal. Um, Eight years old too. This drinks well beyond that to me. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I think good wood. You know, it's good cask. Like you can just really tell it's a really high quality wood. Really good spirit. Mm -hmm. Not to discount anything else that we're going to taste today. But what was the fill on it? Was it a first fill? First fill bourbon bur barrel. Yeah, yeah. first yeah. fill. Oh. Um, which I think, yeah, like grilled pineapple. Or like grilled fruit. Oh yeah, that's a really good color. The, the grilled pineapple. Yeah. Yeah, there is a tropical note. Yeah, it's like on the sides. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna read the tasting notes. Because that's important. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we imagine barbecuing smoked paprika prawn skewers and vegetable oh. tempura before water added notes of hoisin duck, spicy cumin lamb, and sweet ham. Hey. Good call, Zach. Man, uh, you said the smoked pineapple. I can't get away from it. Now. Smoked <laughs> pineapple, like some chili flakes too, or like, or like you know, like roasted. Yeah. Red pepper. What if this was like a, a honey glazed ham? I can almost see that getting substituted for the pineapple. Mm. There you go. Like a honey baked ham. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, you put on the grill, slice a honey baked ham, yeah. and slap it on the grill. Mm. Just like looking at it. Oh, that one is so good. Yeah. The, the first one I think is is so it's like it's fail proof. It's yeah. hard not to really like that one, yeah. no matter what. And if and if your dad's sort of like a casual or 
again, we keep saying dad, because these are Father's Day uh, gift bundles, but um, anyone really, if you're, if you're kind of looking for a classic scotch, I think Jenna and Zach, well, two of you, you nailed it. Like that was a classic, but amplified, you know, classic style, but really just dialed up on steroids. This is, I think, for someone who's a bit more into the smoky style of Scott, or looks for it, sort of the more unique style. Um, maybe it's not like an everyday, all day type of thing, but like when you're in the mood for something a little smoky, or when you're grilling, maybe, you know, uh, it's the grill master's trap. Yeah. Yeah, this, this almost kind of reminds me of some of those um, peated space sides that we've had. Oh yeah, that's good. The, like the one hundred eight that mm -hmm. we've had, because there's like a there's like a sweet element to those. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm finding, and this is just like taking that and adding like a little bit of like that salty char to it. Yeah. So that's just what it's kind of taking me back to some of those peated space sides that we've had. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Well, that's good. Daniel says, "I wish it was available as a standalone bottle." You know, it, it's priced to including the membership, but. But technically, Daniel, if you want to give us a call, uh, if you have somebody who wants to become a member, you can give the membership to your friend or father or whomever and, and technically keep the bottle for yourself. Uh, we can arrange for that. And just, you know, again, it's it's priced to include the membership and we hate to waste it. Uh, My dad might be getting a membership this bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, might be replaced with one of those, but... <laughs> John Warren says you didn't make it sound lightly beaded. I, I think it is though. I mean, do you think it's yeah, it's I think it kind of teeters on that lightly peated, peated, you know, because we have the three. We have lightly peated, peated, and then heavily yeah, peated. So I think it's kind of on maybe the fence on that. Um, definitely again, like if to compare it again to the a lot of the 108s that we've we've gotten, it's they're pretty similar in the kind of the the peat intensity. Oh, we water. Um, I would, yeah, I mean, oh, man. it's hard to, to speak this, you know, when we drink a lot more whiskey than a lot of people is it's like, this to me is, it really isn't peated. It, it's that coastal salinity influence that's really taking over this dram, I think, more so than any peat smoke. Um, so I'd say like, if you're not used to it, it might taste a lot more peated than it is. Um, yeah. But and I, I would just definitely call it more so coastal salinity than anything. There's so much going on in this one. There's just so much water. It's a little eight-year-old whiskey with just so much personality, you know. The water brings, I think, more of that coastalness to it. Mm -hmm. um, I think it kind of tones down the the peak qualities of it and brings in more of that like seaweed, briny, kind of you know salty ocean profile oh. with water. Ooh, that was a really good call out there. Mm, hmm. It's a lot, ooh, a lot more salt. That's great. Right? I'm a palate. It's like really, it becomes really salty for sure. That's weird. It's interesting because it's almost more approachable without with, adding water. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Like that's, it's usually the opposite. Usually you add water, it becomes a little softer and, and easier to sort of uh, enjoy. Yeah, that's good. So again, 93.130 grill masters dram at 60.8% ABV, which I didn't find that this felt 60.8. No. But obviously, like the we drink high strength stuff <laughs> often. So but did this didn't feel as like intense. I felt like the first one felt more yeah. intense than this, I guess, on the palette. So um, I would have put this around 56, 57 percent. Yeah. Otherwise, with, without knowing, I mean, I, I definitely thought so, but. Um, so yeah, so uh, eight year Campbelltown first fell ex bourbon barrel, two hundred and thirty three bottles of this. So. I'm gonna call out uh, John Bourne. Let you know that we have convinced him to open the one hundred eight point one nine. Yes, taste it. Sorry, and, then call, I, and then call and let me know what you think of it. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about 93130. I, I had put up the 12.36 little caption below. So now it's this is the one we just tasted. 93. Sorry, yes. That's my that's my fault. Grill Masters Dram uh, for 175. You know, including the membership, which is pretty damn good. And as we mentioned, if if you just in the bottle for yourself, you just gift a membership for a father or a friend, uh, give us a call and we can arrange that. I don't, I don't think you can do that on the website, but if you just call our team uh, during business hours, we'll have to take care of that so uh, technically you can actually when you go to gift the membership it'll ask you for a billing and a shipping address 
Um, if you want to input your information into billing and shipping, we'll ship the bottle there, but it should give you a box to input the gift members information like name and email. Um, so you, you can do it very easily online, or if you want to call, we'd be obviously more than happy to talk you through anything else you need help with. So it's good to know. Yeah. All right. Well, that was hard to top, I think, wherever we go. But so now we're going into kind of our, our, our premium option in that sense. They're all premium, but it's kind of what we're calling it. Okay. So the third one is 44.123 Sweet Taste of Victory. This is a 16-year space height and a second fill ex-bourbon hogshead. And this is at 60.6% .6 ABV. So here she is. Sweet Taste of Victory. Oh, man. Sweet taste of victory. Well, we, we, yeah, when, we, when we chose these casks for Father's Day, we, we considered a lot of things. We, the Grills Master's Dram, that name it last me to say, it just seemed like a classic dad. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, we, we didn't choose it just for the names, but that was kind of funny. Sweet taste of victory, just for things, reminds me of all dads. Dad, yeah. by the way, if you're watching dad, um, I know you watch all these these days, so hello. <laughs> tell me which one you want below, and I'll send you as a gift with a membership. Hi, Ben's dad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's but, but no, but Sweet Taste of Victory, <laughs> if you're watching this particularly, I think this name probably appeals to you. Yeah. So what do we got here, 16-year-old? 16, yep. I mean, I get, I get Jolly Ranchers right away. Jolly Ranchers. This is in our Juicy Oak and Vanilla flavor profile. Man. Ooh, the nose on this is jolly. West Jolly, if you're still watching this, um, I know you're looking for your 40th cast, but this one could be for you if it is jolly. Yeah. Um, Tom asked a question of what was the flavor profile for the first two. The first one, the easy drinking to Moorish, is spicy and dry. Mm -hmm. so the yellow label. Um, and the second was slightly heated. And, and all of these are available on our website if you go to the smwsa.com and just click on join. All of the, the membership options are now filled with our Father's Day specials. And um, so, yeah. This is very creamy on the nose. Mm. What? Sorry, Wes Jolly is totally Wes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sorry, it, it's too good to be true. This, this That creaminess carries through very well onto the palate. Wow, this is a. <clears throat> Oh, it's like sweet berries and cream Welch's. Uh, I was thinking an orange cream creamsicle. Yeah. Oh, man. It's that balance of the creaminess and the fruitiness. There is so much going on. And this is probably the most complex of them yeah. all. Right? Like, it's really hard to decipher exactly what's taking place. But between that sort of that heavy whipping cream... Mm -hmm. I think you said strawberries. I know you the, the Jolly Rancher thing was funny because it, it is kind of sweeter on the nose. Yeah. The palate is a bit more earthy and has a bit of sort of like grassiness to it. Mm -hmm. Like that's why I wouldn't call it like like sweet fruity. I'd call it like hard rock candy sweet to where it's there, but it's not like a like a tart fruit. It's not a, a juicy fruit. It's a it's a very tamed fruit, I would call it. Yeah. Uh Tom asked the question, what would you pair with this? I think th this one is interesting because the, the first two are probably easier in that sense, uh, especially the, the, the lightly peated one that's a good for grilling. But mm -hmm. this to me is more like a standalone. And I, I, I <laughs> yeah. Trying to like pinpoint what that is because there is like, the, because there is there, there's almost like a savory, but like a, like a, not like savory, like salty. Mm -mm. Or like meaty, but I'm trying to figure out what that is. Yeah, this is interesting. Honestly, you just said savory, and the first thing that came to my mind when I smelled this was like a ballpark hot dog. Oh. I don't know why. I've never gotten that before, but you said it, and it hit me. I did just have a Chicago hot dog about two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I'm kidding. I had two of them, but at, uh, but I can still sort of. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I, I think it's there's so much going on in this one, and it can go in so many different directions. It's really it, the savory note. I don't disagree. Like good with like a roasted bird, chicken perhaps, or something. Yeah. Like, 
bone-in chicken breast. It'd be really good. Not not too many spices, but but it can also go be a dessert whiskey. You know, sort of yeah. like it's a little tart too. There, there's so much going on, you, you know, and the vanilla are really good. Cool. Chocolate tort for dessert. Yeah, like a but like a like a lighter like a lighter sort of chocolate thing, right? Mm -hmm. It's not too heavy. You don't want thick, viscous like cake, but mm -mm. yeah, it's like like mousse, like a like a whipped something whipped and creamy, yeah. and then <clears throat> like what is that flavor that like oh. strawberry shortcake, like esque, but not yeah. not super sweet. Oh, this is this is. I need a minute with this. This is like a this is like a mango creme brulee. <laughs> That's yeah, I agree. There, there's so much going on. <laughs> and I agree. The strawberry shortcake, the berries are. I keep going back to the stewed berries. I, mm -hmm. Zach, I think you said berries. Those those are definitely there. But this the vanilla is heavy at times. But then it sort of dissipates, and it becomes more earthy. You know, and, and mm -hmm. more of like an herbaceous character to it. So I there, it goes anywhere. So mm -hmm. I guess bottom line is it's pretty versatile and it's and it's pairing. And so. Yeah, this is. I'm gonna read the tasting notes real quick. Um, maybe that'll help us. Um, so this says notes of toffee sweetness were followed by a dry and spicy punch. Water revealed the scent of petroleum jelly and finally that champion's leather belt. Interesting. Yeah, that Ron, Ron so... Good question. So just, just um, excuse me. Actually, first, Brett Colombo says just to get an idea of everyone's people's taste preferences. What was everyone's favorite bottle from the June release? First of all, if you're in the chat and you're 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 watching us right now, care to comment? That's it would be great to know that as well. I think the three of us are pretty s spread out these days. I think right. I mean, do you have any standouts for you? Uh, there were a lot that really I sort of have been clinging to. From the sort of lightly peated, we had another Campbelltown in that. We had an unpeated Isla, which I really like. But I'm I'm all over the place with with preferences. Yeah. I think that 115, the X rum cask, was really fantastic. I think that was definitely a standout. Oh, okay. Was it 115 or 118? Well, it was a uh, 112.5. 112. Yeah. Yeah. Funky that one was Highland in, in rum cask. Yes. Yeah, that, that one was, was really good. And the 16.43 too was, that was a stunner. Yeah. John says, I bought too much in May to buy it in June, Brett. At least I haven't bought any yet. <laughs> well, from John, I mean, yeah, there, there's a lot. There's, there is a lot. We've had so much going on and, and we recognize that, that the sort of COVID pandemic that's kept us all inside has really amped up interest in just discovering single cask whiskey at home or maybe like all whiskey across the board. So we've, really went full throttle in this month and uh there's still more to come dun 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 <laughs> always more to come so yeah this is this is so like roller coaster whiskey like it's you get a little bit of everything it's like trail mix this is this is really changing as I go. Like one sip. There's a there's a restaurant on Disney property. It's called Narcusis, and they have a mango creme brulee with berries on top, fresh berries. It's like one bite, you get the hard sugar, and then the mango, the creme brulee itself is like very gooey, and it's not always like very strong mango, but it has the characteristics of everything I taste. In the next minute, like I said, it's a freaking ballpark hot dog. <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> Can we just have a live stream where we just talk about dessert and whiskey pairings, please? Comment below, you guys, if you are <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> we're not going to be that. Comment but, below. Can we talk about desserts, please? <laughs> Terry says. Terry Baldwin says fifty nine point six zero from June is superb. Uh, fifty nine six zero was called the Milkman with a Red Oven Glove. Oh. Um, that was also a ten year old. That was a Highland whiskey from the spicy and dry flavor right. profile. So similar, we, the first one we've had today, the 12.36 um, Easy Drinking and Moorish, that was probably very similar cask, at least it's in the same flavor profile. Yeah, this one, I, I really liked this a lot. Yeah. And then we had 93.130 next, which is Grill Master's Dram and Eight Year Campbelltown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And then the one that we're on now is 44.123, a 16 year space hide. And, and a, a little bit of water, see how it goes. Yeah, and uh, we have two Tom R's in the chat right now. Uh, first Tom R says, Bananas Mexicanas aged well from May uh, 6613. 66.163. A perfect finish or perfect day has been nice. I, I love that name, by the way. The perfect finish or perfect day. I think you had that one. No, I have a bottle right here, too. The perfect finish or perfect day. Um, if you got that one, we'll actually, uh, you've probably seen or if you check out our website, we'll, we have it posted, but I will be coming back doing a series of master classes in a couple of weeks now. Or right in there. Are we, one or two? These weeks are flying by, but later this month, uh, we'll be doing a master it's class. Done. At this point. Yeah, and, I, and I'll be I'll be hosting this one, uh, the 66.163. But anyway, back to the topic. So that's those are the those are the three membership sort of bundles that we have, really kind of special for Father's Day. Uh, and really, I think the thing that we haven't, haven't mentioned yet I will post below is, is the fact that if you order any of these gift membership bundles, you actually get a $50 gift card towards yourself. So if you're a member currently, um, you can order something for Dan or really anybody else as, as a gift, including one of these three whiskeys in a membership. And we will actually email you a $50 gift card mm -hmm. uh, shortly after to use for your next order. You're welcome to pass it on to the recipient, your, your father or whomever as well to use towards their first order. But I don't know, or you can just share it and use it for yourself and, and order something from our current stock or, or anything coming so and um we have one more option too so if any all three of these if, if none of these really stick out uh if i ask my other denim denim <laughs> card right over here zach but zach how can we do like a high five other way okay y'all <laughs> are cute <laughs> really lame, really lame but what else, so we also have uh our, is that you all that's you and drew it i'll try and pull this up so like, like he said, you know, we have the three options. Um, however, if you're unsure of what your dad or your gift recipient may like, um, the tasting kit, oh, I can't see it now, but uh, there you go, um, is a nice option because it comes with three different whiskeys. Um, you also get a nice little flavor tasting book right here um, where you can kind of write little notes in. Oh, that works. And it gives you little stories about things. Um, it'll also come with a nice lapel pin up top. And then... You'll actually have three different options. Well, not options, but it comes with all of them. Um, three little 100 milliliter bottles um, that'll allow them to taste through. It's three different flavor profiles. Um, the first one is cask 36.160 called Gelfling Wing Sealant. It's an 11 year old from our spicy and dry flavor profile. Um, the next one is a 15 year old called or it may have actually changed. These do change, just so you know. But right now, you'll have this one. It's Bavarian Bratzeit. It is cask 35.231. Is that one there? And then cask 66.142 is called Pencil Shavings Floating on a Rock Pool, which is a lightly peated option. Um, so it might not be the exact same, but it gives them the opportunity to taste through three different flavor profiles, um, kind of see where they lie and what they like. Um, so that's always an option as well. Um, and I believe that one is 175. If I'm not. Yeah. 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 That's 175. That includes the membership as well. And just on that, you know, you know, again, if, if you're interested, it, obviously these have been handpicked for father's day. If you're not yet a member yourself and interested in joining the society, you're welcome to take advantage of the same offer too. Um, you know, as a member, I, I know, and, and it, if anybody cares to, to join me and sort of share in your own experience for, for members here in the viewing today, you know, as a member, first of all, you, you get an opportunity to, to really access these pretty phenomenal single cask whiskeys from really all over Scotland and now the rest of the world. Um, and so we, and in addition to others and our team are really part of the member services team. And so I think what's unique is you can call us at any point, um, looking for personal recommendations and our team will sort of guide you in selecting the single cask whiskey that's really right for your palate, which is a pretty special thing. Um, so access to this whiskey that really comes out on a, on a it used to be a monthly basis, but now we're releasing you know, these, these outturns every two weeks at least at this point. Um, also sort of a chance to really kind of take your knowledge of whiskey to the next level because we, we put together our mo a monthly magazine, excuse me, our quarterly members magazine called Unfiltered and just sort of giving you an inside look on 
you know, the industry as a whole and just the, with the concept of really developing your knowledge of, and appreciation of whiskey to the next level. And um, I don't know, I think also for, for dad again, or yourself, I was, joining the community has been fantastic. I mean, we have such a great group of members that I think really just expedite the learning process. I don't know about you guys, but I, I'm learning more from other members sometimes than I am from uh, even, even the things we're putting out. It's just the knowledge within within and the love within the community is amazing. Yeah, um, those, are, those are some of my favorite phone calls are people just calling to talk whiskey and to, you know, we kind of share, you know, notes and examples of things that we like and, you know, what they may like. And I really enjoy those conversations. So please call us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, I mean, lastly, of course, we're, you know, our, our, our club is originally based in Edinburgh, Scotland, and we have, you know, several members, private members rooms in Scotland. And I think obviously now where we've been hunger down in the uh, COVID pandemic and unable to really travel and take advantage of it, but as things are slowly opening up, if anyone's going over to Scotland, the chance to visit the society you know, in Edinburgh, the vaults, which is the building on every bottle here, is just a, it's just a fantastic experience. And when you become a member, you just get your member ID card, show the show the uh, the staff upon arrival, and it's just like a library of whiskeys. And we have venues in London, Edinburgh, and Glasgow now as well. So. And I think hopefully we'll be we'll be eventually re resuming our tasting events here in the U.S. because I'm sure ready to get out there and, and kind yes. of show around the perp. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay? <laughs> You're okay. We're all a little kind of stuck, you know. Uh, well, anyway. I, think, I think the big thing is you know we're all people. You know we're people persons. I guess is the same phrase it. You know I, I got into whiskey because I it, there's no cap to it. There's no I mean everybody is welcome and everybody shares from all walks of life. Um, that's one of my favorite parts, like you guys were talking about, you know, the best part of being a member is the other members, you know, having conversations. There's people, you know, no offense to them, uh, that are older, that have been drinking whiskey longer than I've been alive. And for them to share stories with me that I would never be able to experience myself, it's so cool. Um, and I get to, I really get to experience that at these tastings. You know, I get to run it and I have a grand old time working and, you know, it's, it's a great perk. But when they're sharing those stories with me in person while drinking some amazing whiskey, it, yeah, that's one of the best parts of the job. And um, I cannot wait to do it again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To put it lightly. So, yeah. Well, that's sort of a, that's a little rundown again. So th four options in total, three different membership bundles. If you go to smwsa.com, you know, our website and click on join, you'll see we've, our, our, the whole page is, is sort of pre-filled with all the other say special options. Um, and just keep in mind, if you order any of those either for yourself or for your father, you'll get a $50 gift card sent to you via email, which you can use on your next order or just pass on to dad. But um, beyond that, I mean, I think we, we've got a pretty exciting list of things coming up uh, yep. and we'll be announcing this soon. I don't know. I hope I, I know a lot of you caught Jenna's interview with John Campbell, the distillery manager of Lafroy this past week. Um, I've been getting a lot of messages from people just saying that was just fantastic. They seem to really enjoy that. That was fun. Uh, so Jenna will be, Jenna's back in action on that a couple of times this month, right? Yes. Starting. Yeah. So on Tuesday, the 16th, we'll be talking to Jared Hemstead of Balcones. And on the 26th of June, we'll be talking to the head distiller at Waterford over in Ireland, Ned. He's going to come and join us and talk all things terroir, which, um, you know, I'm not excited about at all. Right, right. I'm not going to be there during my work day. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're we have a lot of really cool stuff in the works. Um, talking with a lot of really amazing, you know, people in this industry. So um, keep your eyes open on those emails, and we'll be sharing all of that information. And I guess for all, if you're a current member or if you're interested in becoming a member, you will become a member soon. We are releasing our mid-month outturn next Tuesday. So yeah. we'll be back on Monday offering a sort of a preview tasting of those whiskeys as well, or at least most of them. We've, we've decided to actually increase the selection um, since we've sort of planned for it, but with adding a couple more here and there, uh, just to offer more and more in support of our members who are just really eager to, to enjoy more of these whiskeys at home. So uh, that's it. Thanks for joining. I think for the most part, if you uh, have any questions, give us a call or shoot us an email and we'll be happy to offer some more, I don't know, more personal guidance in, in the selection process. But um, yeah, if you're not a member again, we welcome you to join. If you're a current member, as we know so many are, thank you for everything so far. It's been phenomenal. Uh, really enjoying being able to chat with everybody you know, through 
through YouTube and Facebook as well. So. Yep. All right. All right. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm empty. Me too. I have a little left in here. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.